connected. Channel switch. Okay, hello, and Randy here. We're uh, doing a little mon here again tonight. Hopefully, everyone's having a great night here so far. Hey, RHM191, evening. Welcome to the stream. Hey, Durkitty, welcome to the stream. You got farm FS16. What? FS16. Oh, brother. Why would you even want to Yeah, go back to that when you already have... Uh, whatever. Let's see. Actually, you know what? I just named this flash. This is actually technically more of a break. Anyway, working on the John Deere uh, 7520 here again tonight, everyone. Uh, we definitely have some errors that need to be uh, fixed in it uh, off screen here. I took some time, and I think I figured out where these errors are coming from, and hopefully we're going to uh, take care of those here tonight. Uh, amongst a few other things I noticed we need to uh, fix on this mod here as well, uh, namely starting with these rear uh, excuses of brake lights here. I'm assuming that's what those are supposed to be. Yeah, this is what they are currently. They are obviously clearly not set up even close to being properly right. They're, they're a ludicrous joke is what they are. Uh, mod author should have just deleted them out. That's what he should have done. Anyway, uh, Brady, good evening all. Welcome to the stream. Uh, Boomer Watson, how are you meant? How are you meant to mod a vehicle? How are you meant to mod a vehicle? Well, stay tuned and uh, we'll be uh, we'll be doing some of it. So uh, we're gonna be. Placing the uh, rear brake lights here, and if you were with me when I started the stream here, I went uh, brake light shopping, shall we say, and I've decided I think some rear light oval reds, I think those will look pretty good on there. That was my thoughts anyway. We got, uh, we go LEDs. I think, we'll I think we'll just go with the rear light oval reds. I think those look like the best ones to me, I thought. Hey, Jared, hello, welcome to the stream. Uh, Dark Kitty gets boring when you only have one game to play on mobile. I, I suppose, but why would you ever even consider going back to 60? <laughs> yeah, whatever, I guess. Okay, so yes, we uh, what I just finished doing here, everyone, is put transform locations in for these lights here. Because uh, what I'm going to do is we're going to get rid of these and we'll dynamically, dynamically load uh, some of Giant's lights in. So, hey, Matthew, uh, it's going, going. Uh, by the way, if you'd like to join TeamSpeak, you're welcome to do so. Information, again, down below in the uh, description there. 
As noted many times before, anyone is welcome to join as long as you can uh, play nicely and follow the rules. Okay, let's see what's here. I have done something with lights before. Does 30 have lights on it? 6030 has some dynamically loaded lights. Oh, speaking of the John Deere 6030, by the way, I wonder if you didn't see it. Uh, I did release that mod. You can find it both on the RDL and Facebook page, and I did kind of a little YouTube uh, review video of it as well. <laughs> I think it's my mod, so I guess I'll uh, review my mod. Hey, whatever works, right? Uh, better than FSO9? Oh, that is true, I suppose. That's true. So yeah, shared light. Now I think they do it different for the brake lights. So I'm gonna have to maybe do a little poking around. Let's see what's here. Yeah, this is not gonna help me for brake lights at all, is it? There is no brake lights code in there. Oh, well, let's see what's here. Where would I have some brake code lights? Code finished mods. Let's see what we got in here. Oh, uh, white. White had some brake lights on it, didn't it? Do a little check in here. Hello, Katara81. Welcome to the stream. Lights. Default lights. Uh, brake lights. Yes, we need some brake lights. That is what we need. That is exactly what we need. And we need, oh, we need brake lights there too. Okay. Noted. Not the right 7520. Let's just open up the 7520 XML here just to make sure. Uh, let's see what's here. 7520. Yeah, that's the right one. Okay. Figured it was, but better make sure. Also possibly going to need that as well. Okay. There we go. But uh, at least you have some livestock or mobile FS wouldn't be so popular. Uh, that's true, I suppose. That is true. Okay, let's just save that for the moment. Not quite 100% the code I need. I know that much, but that'll get us uh, started here. Uh, let's see. I don't need that open. Or that. Or that. Or that. Or... I need that either. Nope. Or that. Get rid of that too. Okay. The only one we have open there. Uh, by the way, I will be getting to these air messages down here in a, a minute. Uh, so as noted here last time, if you watched, uh, was it Wednesday? I think last Wednesday we were working on this here. I noted we had two rather severe looking air messages here. Air Mesh ID 620 has zero triangles. And then we got some sort of air failed to compile fragment shader air. Uh, yeah, it doesn't look good there either, so... I did figure out where those are coming from, and like I said, we'll get to those here in a few moments. Actually, relatively easy to fix. Nope, I'm going to need... Blizzard? Yeah, that actually might do the trick. Let's go to vehicles. Where would we find a vehicle with some in-game lights on it? That is a good question. Well, I'm going to use some of those in-game lights. The last time I played FS09, you couldn't even... Uh, oh, FS09, you can use mods in FS09. Uh, Jeremy Burnett, uh, thank you for the uh, subscribe. Thank you very much for that. Ice cream. Face mask. Oh, brother. Uh, okay. Hey, how about we just go look at my favorite one all the time. I always go look at the John Deere's. Let's start there. Seems like a good spot. Uh, John Deere 6R, sure. So as I've uh, said many, many times, oh, actually, you know what? I don't want the i3D. I want the XML. Oh, well. uh, as I've said many, many times before, everyone, if you're not sure how to do something, go look up how Giants did it. That's, uh, that would be the best way to do it there. Okay, so yeah, this already has built-in lights. See, I need something that's going to have dynamically loaded lights. Now, what the John Deere probably does not have. User joined your channel. No, 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 no. Don't have dynamically loaded beacon lights. Hey, yes, how we doing? User joined your channel. User yeah. Joined your channel. Hello. Everybody was just so worried. Uh oh. They're worried, huh? Well, they weren't looking at the recording channel. 
Oh. Yes, I went sneaking down here, didn't I? Well, I was watching an ATS trucking video about the uh, Kenworth 900. Worth not, oh. Long, the long mod. Okay, well, I'm just going to make a guess here. This is probably the code we need here. We just need to change. I grabbed the beacon code. We just need to change it to brake light, I think. We'll find out if I'm right on this or not. Throw in our locations. And then we go back to shopping for lights here again. Shared assets. Lights. Lizard. Uh, Joel Deason. Thank you for the follow. Thank you very much for that. Welcome to the stream. Uh, Ethan Bids. What is this? What is this? Uh, I don't know. What, what is this? What's it look like? What does it look like? That is the question. Okay. So we were going for rear light oval red. Rear light oval red. Rear light circle oval orange don't we want red lead oh there we go there we go uh rear light oval red there it is that's the one we want okay Randy you have much patience than I do oh yeah I'll be doing that Oh, it takes patience, just, uh, yeah, takes time, I guess. Okay, patience, maybe. Uh, Trevor McConzel's live. He is. Uh, Trevor, you have eight DB120s running on one of the fields on Nowhere, Kansas, planting cotton. Oh, boy. Uh, Katie, I remember when I first started FS14, the only good source of money were milk and corn silage. Uh, Ethan, then you aren't playing Farming Simon 19? We're working on Farming Simon 19. So no, not we're not technically not playing it right at the moment. Yeah, okay, here we go. So what's the plans for tomorrow night, Randy? Uh, probably farming simulator. And horse. I'm ready to have that match finished. I'm kind of excited. Oh. Why did we got something we're doing next? Uh, Ketera, so what map uh, will you do since FS21 is not going to... Well, wait, 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 wait a minute. Who, since when did they say FS21 is not going to happen? They just said it's going to get potentially delayed a little bit. It's been delayed by a year. Did they say a year? Yeah, they said a year. They said long enough for them to release the three DLCs. They said that the DLCs are big and they're like, I think, 40 vehicles a piece or something. Uh, 30 vehicles apiece based on the math. They said 90 more. That's not to say each one's going to be evenly split with 30 and 30, but, uh, there, you know, there might be 40, 30, and 20. Uh, Matthew, you just downloaded the 60, 30. Cool, cool. Uh, let's see. Let's just so brake lights. I'm not sure if I got those brake lights set up there properly or not. I guess we will find out. Looks right. You know one thing, you have much more patience than I do. Still would like to find a uh, in-game vehicle here that has an example of this. Let's, uh, oh, what would be an in-game vehicle? Maybe a piece of equipment might have it. Like a cultivator or something. Sure. Shared lights. Yeah, it's not going to be quite what I'm looking for. Brake lights. Yeah, that actually might do the trick. That might just do the trick. We'll see once. I think we'll test it out the way I have it. Everyone, we'll see once if we get an error message as a result. See if those uh, brake lights work or not. If they don't, we'll have to we'll come back to that. And uh, let's, let's see if I got that. I don't know. I guess we'll find out. Okay, let's get rid of that. Get rid of that. We're good there. Let me get rid of these uh, monstrosities here. Oh, nope, that's the wrong button. Delete that one. There we go. Ah, uh, good thing Control-Z works here, too. Uh, Ethan Thomas is bashing John Deere's again? Ah, oh, well, someone sh oh, should go over there and ban him. Uh, Trummer, I would say one DLC will be a map. 
Uh, yeah, we would almost think so there, True Farmer. Yes, I'd almost think so. Okay. I'm personally, like, I like John Deere. But I think my favorite are the old style Ford tractors. Cool Fords, eh? Yeah, I'm a fan of them. Okay, well, let's uh, fix, uh, I guess it doesn't really matter which one we start with here. Let's uh, see if we can fix the Air Mesh ID 620. Uh, like I said, off camera here, I did a little bit of work trying to figure out where this uh, was coming from. Uh, I went and tried looking up ID620. There is nothing in this mod that indicates there's an ID620 anywhere in here that I could find. So I don't know where that number's coming from anywhere, but ID620 does not exist in this mod anywhere. So what I ended up doing here to find it, everyone, is I basically just started deleting crap out until it went away. And what I found is under. Let's get around here so we can uh, zoom into this here. Oh, uh, let's see what's here. Under this one, if I remember correctly. Yes. So the error message does state that ID620 has zero triangles. Well, I found this. Underneath the uh, stack here, we got nothing. It's an empty object, completely empty object. And I uh, found it, I labeled it delete, so that way I knew which one it was here. So yes, if you notice here, pulling this out, there's just nothing there. <laughs> Who knows what it is? It doesn't, yeah, it's nothing. So that would make sense, it has zero triangles, because uh, apparently something's wrong with it. I don't know what it is. Like I said, it doesn't show up. I don't know what it's supposed to be. I don't know if the tractor's missing anything. Then. Oh, Geometry ID 620. Ah, there we go, everyone. There's the name. This name does not show up anywhere that I can search for it and find, though. So, okay, ID 620. What we're going to do to fix that one? We're just going to delete it. And then while I was looking here as well, we have, for some reason, there's two exhaust stacks here. There's this one and that one. We got no, 001 and a 004. I don't know why there's two of them, but we'll, uh, we're just going to get rid of that one. Don't need that one either. Nothing wrong with that one, but... That was that. And then let's see once here. We still have a uh, compile error. I think that was under. Let's see once. What was that under here again? Cab. I did uh, find this body. Nope. Chassis. Nope. Parts. Tab, window, right window, right window mesh. Yes, here we go. So again, I'm on the only way I was able to find this stuff, I pretty much just went through the mod and deleted crap until uh, the error messages went away. Of course, I made a copy of it. I didn't delete anything from this one itself. Made a copy, started deleting stuff, and then it's like, oh, okay, here it is. So this is what's causing, I don't know what this is supposed to be, everyone, but this uh, mesh right here is causing the compile fragment shader blah blah error. I don't know why. Don't really care why. We're just going to delete it. And that uh, that solves that problem in my opinion. So, error message is taken care of, so to speak. We're going to save it. Open it back up and hopefully our messages are all gone. That's uh, where we're getting 20 to 25 FPS on low graphics. You have 8, 83, 70... 8 DB120s, 8 John Deere Cotton Harvesters, 2 Buster Slides Trucks, and 2 Tanker Trucks. Oh, wow. Uh, Brady, it'd be nice to see, like, an Iowa map from Giants. Yeah, good luck with that there, Brady. I think we've already seen what uh, Giants' ideas of American maps look like. Uh, European-style American maps. That's uh, that's pretty much, I think, the best way to put them. Uh, I would say the best American map that Giants has made so far was probably Westbridge Hills. Well, yeah, let, let's face it, that's the other the rest of the American ones, eh, eh, just now. I still play that map. Okay, when well, error messages, all accounted for, none left. Perfect. Now, I did notice, however, uh, we do still have a couple problems here yet. I was going through the textures here, cleaning that up. Somewhere in here, somewhere, everyone, IH Red is being used. Now, last time I checked, IH Red does not look like that. Huh? IH Red, anyone? Yeah. 
Uh, and then we also got universal dirt being used somewhere. We definitely don't want that. So I need to figure out where those are getting used. That's not good. Uh, do you remember Goldcrest Valley? Well, Goldcrest Valley wasn't from Giants, though, so. It wasn't? No. Nope. I thought that was good. Well, who was Goldcrest from? I have no idea. You sure it wasn't from Giants? No, because American Maps... Uh, it would be Westbridge Hills. Uh, there's Ravenport. And was there a North American one for 17? Yes, that's Goldcrest. Goldcrest, you sure? Yes, I'm sure. Mm, okay. Goldcrest, uh, okay, maybe it was. Yeah, okay. Uh, Killen, speaking of Westbridge, there was another update for today, and they managed to make it even worse. Did they even update... Why are they still updating that map? There are so many versions of Westbridge Hills. I, I don't know. Whatever. I guess. Some people. Okay. I'm thinking the best way to probably find this, everyone, actually, rather than going through everything, maybe just uh, do some searching here. So Universal Dirt is file ID number 22. Two. I do a search for file ID 22. I should be able to figure out what material is using this. I think. <laughs> that one. Uh, okay, material ID 5. And then I can search what is using material ID 5. I think it becomes material IDs, if I remember correctly. Okay, so material ID 5. Ooh, so we got whatever those are. They are under the transform group lights. Okay. They are all using the 5. Interesting. Okay. They're lights, eh? Real, oh, under the hoods, eh? Okay. Body. That. Body, yeah. Grill lights. Lights there. Okay. Uh huh. There we go. What do we got here? Lights. Textures. Okay. Yep. Lights. Uh huh. Universal dirt. Uh, universal dirt is the dirt texture from Farming Simulator 17. You do not want to use that for 19. That will uh, result in the most uh, interesting, well, interesting. It's going to result in a 100% dirty mod and a 100% shiny mod. All it's paint, and it's going to be 100% dirty. Ugly, if you ask me. We also don't have a shader. Uh, yeah, yeah, if you get one of those mods, <laughs> you're better off not washing it. <laughs> Very true. Uh... Okay, we need to go get the shader here a minute. Farming Sim 19. Shaders. Vehicle shader. Perfect. Yeah, it's got dirt. It's got some wire on it. Kind of hard to see, but that's the way it is. Okay, that should take care of that. I'm going to put zero and zero on that. That takes care of the dirt wire. Okay, for now. Uh, anything else in here we should be checking? While I'm here. Yeah, well, I think that looks pretty good. Let's uh, save that. Yes, I want to reload that. See if there's anything else using uh, material ID number 5. Oh, we got a fan that is using ID 5. Okay. Fan be using that. And I'm assuming that's the fans up here. Does have the shader, okay. And it has generic dirt and wear. Okay. We might have to research for this here, everyone, because replacing it, it might have updated this. Okay, it says universal dirt is still being used. It's now file ID number 43. Which is being used by that one. Okay. 
like I said, on the other options, I could just go through Giant's Editor and just keep looking through stuff. But I, I figure this will be a little quicker, I think. I don't know, but... Okay, Triangle. Triangle is using that. Okay. Where would I find the Triangle? I mean, I know where it is here, but... I click on it? Oh, I can Uh, yeah, generic dirtware should be fine for that. Okay. Let's just see once. Is it used anywhere else? That might be it. Okay. Save. Load. Yes, please. Uh, true Farmer in Georgia, it's illegal to have ice cream cone in your back pocket. Oh, um, brother, ice cream. Where do they come up with these things anyway? Okay, yes, please. Let's reload that again, everyone. Let's see if Universal Dirt is gone. Because we need to make sure Universal Dirt is gone. Because like I said, everyone, that's, that's from Farming Simulator 17. Ain't going to work in uh, 19. Despite the... Uh, um, <clears throat> mod author's best attempts at seeming to seemingly trying to use it all the time ain't gonna work, and it is gone. Good, <laughs> I can delete it out now. Textures, universal. Door. Also, notice the window diffusers down there too. I need to figure out where that's coming from. There's a couple, couple things that need to be cleaned out here yet. Crash. John Deere yellow, John Deere silver, and IH red. So let's go for after IH red here yet. That's where IH Red is being used. It's a solid color, everyone, so we can get rid of it if, if we can find out where and what it's being used for. It is being used for whatever that one's being used for. Okay, material ID number 10. And just keep in mind when it says material ID, it becomes material IDs down below. So that's why I got to stick an S in there. Uh, becomes shape. 83 and 84, which is transform group drive shaft. Okay. Your chassis. Presumably this is on the back, uh, the rear of the tractor. Drive shaft, rear lights, rear back. One would assume back of the tractor. Back, back, here. Drive shaft. Oh. What is there a drive shaft down here for? I don't see no stinking drive shaft. Aha! Uh -huh. There's a drive shaft in here. Uh huh. Oh, uh -huh. oh. There is a drive shaft in here, huh? I'm not sure what we want a drive shaft in here for. I don't even do anything. Can't even see it. I don't know what everyone else is thinking, but I think there's a real easy way to fix that. What does everyone else think? Real easy way to fix that. Can't see it. Trying to get any other zooms here. It's all blocked off here. It's all blocked off there. You could technically see through here, but this drive shaft doesn't go in that far, so. Yeah, I think we nix it. Drive shaft. Gone. <clears throat> yep, sometimes that's the easiest way to fix things. Just delete them. Okay, next. Anything else? Let's use a material ID 10. Those are it. Okay, well, that's easy to fix, everyone. Super easy to fix. Save. Reload. Yes. Reload it here as well. Let's see what's what we got left for uh, files we need to get rid of here. Oh, I can get rid of the IH red in here now too. Uh, let's see what's here. We can go with John Deere Silver. Looks like John Deere Silver, all right. Sure, they say so. That's file ID 11. 
I think it's working pretty good this way. Right now, like I said, I wasn't really sure what the best way to find these was going to be. I have to say, it seems like this is working okay. Uh, unable to find material IDs 13. Oh, come on now. It says it's being used. Material IDs 13, huh? How can you not find it? Hmm. This is odd, everyone. Uh, Giants Editor usually does a pretty good job of uh, cleaning up if uh, something isn't needed, so... Oh, uh, wait a minute. Uh, it might be, what it might be, everyone, is it is being used by multiple. Okay, yeah, there might be uh, something that has multiple materials on it. That is probably what it is. Ouch. Not sure how we'd find that then. Probably what's going on, everyone. We have something with multiple materials. I'm trying to think of a good way we can find that then. I can try that. Oh, we got lucky. <laughs> we got lucky, everyone. It was the first number. I was going to say, that's not going to work if it's not the first number, but we're lucky, everyone. It is the first number. Okay, so where is this? Steering. Oh, that shouldn't be too hard to find. Underneath the exit point, steering. Uh, which one was it here? It was Poly Surface 7. 17. What the heck is Polysurface 717? Uh, that there is your steering wheel, I think. Weird looking. I'm not sure what's going on there, but whatever. Uh, so yeah, probably surface 717 here. Uh, John Deere Silver has steering symbol on it and rubber floor. What the heck? Rubber floor on it for? Goodness. There's your rubber floor. There's your steering symbol. <coughs> steering symbol. Gotcha. Yeah. And John Deere Silver. Huh. Well, everyone, uh, I'm, I'm thinking we just uh, nix all of those, if you ask me, from the looks of it. I think they all need to go. Goodbye. Goodbye. And goodbye. Oh, <laughs> I went the whole steering wheel. Okay, that's fine. Means this was probably using that nonsense, too. Indeed it was. Okay, cool. We're going to just, well, let's see. Yeah, save that as it is. What I should really do here, I want to just probably remove these material IDs from it. But let's uh come back to that. And we'll just set that to a nice black color for the steering wheel. Boom. Hey, Randy, are you perhaps watching this impeachment stuff in the background? Uh, not a prayer. Okay, let's uh, go back to Giants, uh, or not to Giants Editor. Let's go back to here. Surface, and we're going to put material uh, 33 on all of that. Get rid of all those. We don't need any more materials on that. <laughs> not sure why. There's multiple materials on that in the first place, everyone. That was kind of weird if you ask me, so yeah. Back here, reload. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Part of the steering wheel disappeared. Don't worry, everyone. We can, uh, we can potentially fix this yet. Uh, by the way, in case you can't tell, if you're new to editing mods here, some of what we, we're jumping back and forth between a text editor, Notepad++ in this case, and Giants Editor. It's, it's You almost have to use both to really... It'd be nice if you could click on this without having to select everything. Okay, fine. Steering... That one right there. Uh, might be because there's multiple. Eh, okay. I don't see one's here. Let's get a shader on here. What's going on with the impeachment? Do I want to know? Uh, 
I, I heard they got their breakthrough uh, um, witness finally. Or so they claim. They got him this time. I thought they had him last time, but uh, now, now they got him. Or so they claim. Uh, let's see. Let's we might have to pull this into a blender here because this one uh, does not want to uh, here, does it? Kind of annoying. Kind of annoying. Right. I don't think there's anything else I can do in the editor here to make that appear. We'll have to leave it at that, I guess. Uh oh, uh, let's put a let's see once here. Throw a wear texture on it here. Textures, let's go. Do dirt on that, cause uh, being a steering wheel, but I'm thinking probably it's I don't know what they make the steering wheels out of, but the paint don't fall off them basically. Uh, Trummer, you wait. You can have ice cream cone in your back pocket if it is not Sunday. That's okay. not an ice cream Sunday. I'd want. Uh, okay then. Well, that's great to know. Uh, yeah, that's how I'm going with that. So now that's not an ice cream Sunday I want either. <laughs> Uh, okay, well, I guess I'm going to have to export this, aren't I? Export selection. We're going to have to pull this into Blender so we can fix that. OBJ. Wheel. We'll just call it wheel for now, sure. Blender. Uh, Bray, it's amazing how fast you can transform bad mods like these. Oh, yeah, if you, uh, if you want to just do, like, some quick tweaks, a lot of the mods out there, just a lot of little quick tweaks you can fix all up. Fix a lot of this, what's wrong with the mods. I mean, if you want to get a little more in depth, which kind of, I'm, I'm like trying to fix everything. Don't necessarily have to go that deep, but it's like, yeah, if we're going to fix it a little, let's fix it all the way, right? Uh, let's see what's here. Translate. Nope, that's not the one I want. Edit mode. I need to get the uh, translation here on. Remember how to do this again. It's been a while since I've had to do this here. Nope, that's not going to do it. There is a way to get this to go to. And maybe we'll come back to that. I basically have one. I need the transform. I need to be on center there. That's what I need. Let me pull it back in because it's a steering wheel that's going to be rotating. Might be a problem if I leave it where it's at. Just saying. It might be. Uh, and maybe it won't be. I'm just guessing it's going to be, but. UV image editor. I don't think that's all there. I think that's all there. I'm not sure why. Yeah, like I said, must have multiple materials associated with it. Unfortunately, I don't think those come through in uh, Blender here, which is perfectly fine. We don't need them. Okay, let's see what's here. Where is... Options here for... question. Actually, you know what was it on this side here? What happens when you don't use Blender as often as you maybe should. Weight tools, no. Renew. Uh, it's translate, but there's an option here somewhere you can move the transform location to the center of it here. I forget how that is done again.
Okay, well, we'll just export it like it is. I want to see if it works. If it doesn't, I will have to uh, figure out where that option is here again. Options, new, shading, you know. Oh, this, you can use it, uh, this to recalculate your normals. Uh, normals, for those who don't understand, a normal surface is like an exterior one you can see. A non-normal, that would be like the inside of a mod. So that's sometimes when you're, if you're looking like from the inside of a mod out, it's invisible. That's, that's non-normal. That's kind of what that means. Probably didn't do a very good job of explaining that, but hey, oh well. Crank the scale, rotate, push, pull. Yeah. One of these options here somewhere sets it back on the center line here. Oh well. Oh, uh, Jeffrey. Uh, yes, that's what I mean. Yes, set the origin to center. That is exactly what I'm looking for. For the life of me, I cannot remember where that option is here. And like I said, I know I've done it before. I'm looking at this as like... Yeah, no, T turns that on. I mean, edit mode, new. I keep looking at the translate, which I know moves it around, but that's not what I need. Join set origin. Ah. Geometry to origin. I think that's... There we go. Okay, yes. That is what I'm looking for. I don't know if I'm going to have to have that rotated or not. Not sure. Origin to center of mass. Eh. Origin volume. Geometry on origin. I don't know that it rightly matters. Probably should really be rotated to zero. That is considered zero there, eh? Okay. Uh, Jeffrey, someone doesn't sound so chippy this evening? Oh? Who's that? Yeah, hey, Alex, we'll see once here. I might have to have that zero, too. I'm not sure. Uh, not sure. Excellent question. Unfortunately, I'm not sure how to rotate this to zero, seeing as how <laughs> zero is not. But I can get it probably close. We'll leave it like it is, I guess. And uh, thank you, uh, PODTOF. Export. Giants. Uh, let's see what's here. New wheel. Feel center technically. I want to go into that folder. Hey Randy, you've been keep you still keeping up with the impeachment stuff? Uh, slightly, yes. I'm watching it right now. This is pitiful. It's pitiful. Huh? <laughs> I could have told you that. Just, just pitiful. I thought they could get any stupider. Uh, these are Democrats you're talking about. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, we're going to move this up to... Yeah, so let me see once here. This might be a problem. If we move this up to here... I was going to get on American Truck Stand and play, but I'm sitting here on West Bridge Hills farming watching this impeachment stuff. Oh, did that not actually move up there? What? Really? Oh, because I, uh, I moved it up. Oh, yes. Okay. Undo that. I need to control C, control V this up here. That should get it to move up, right? No? Really? Oh, no, I did too. Okay. Yep. Oh, uh, yeah. That's what I was afraid of, everyone. I need to have this zeroed. I need to have it zeroed. Ah, okay, uh, uh, shift plus control plus, what? Shift control, I've never, uh, shift control alt C. Oh, wow, okay. Wow. That is some, uh, geometry origin. Uh, that, uh, that is quite the, uh, shortcut key, okay. 
depending on what's rotating here, I, mean, I might be able to get away with it like this. Because the center of rotation would be here. So technically, if this thing is not that right, it technically won't matter. No, actually, you know what? We should be good here. I mean, I think we're good. If I zero this, zero that. The rotation on this one? Uh, nothing on that. Okay. Rotation about like that looks like it's pretty close. Looks like this one is scaled a little bit, interestingly enough. Unless... No, it shouldn't look like that, should it? I don't think it would look like that. Oh, wrong one. Green one? Oh, okay, I guess that is the way that is supposed to be then, isn't it? Okay. Bet you that's the way it's supposed to be. Or at least the way the mod author intended it. It doesn't quite look right to me if you ask me for one, but... Hey, they well. Oh, we need to go the other way a little bit. Okay. Get this position right. We'll have to make sure the steering wheel actually goes around center like it's supposed to. Like I said, I don't think it'll be a problem because the center of steering should be this one up here, which that's still centered yet. So it shouldn't care what this stuff is down here, in theory. That might be a bad theory, but <laughs> that's my theory. I'm sticking with it. Okay, I think we got that about as centered as it's going to get. I'm not sure exactly what... Okay, I guess... Okay, that's supposed to be your throttle column there. That's probably the part that rotates, I'm guessing. And then, of course, the steering. That, okay, I guess that kind of sort of makes sense. Sort of. And I'm going to get rid of that one there. Now we're going to save that. Go back to Giants. Or not to Giants. Uh, go back to Notepad++. Yeah, reload that. Uh, material ID. Wow, those material IDs went up. Uh, 1,099. That'll work. Oh, wrong one. Don't change that. Wrong number. Don't change that. That's bad. There we go. Actually, you probably could change that. Well, as long as you don't make a duplicate. Save. Oh, let's throw this, uh, cast shadow in there, too. That's something I always gotta remember to do whenever you, uh, Pull something from Blender, pull it back in, out type of thing. Uh, yeah, you got to reset the cast shadow stuff. Okay, reload. Yes. There we go. That looks like that's pretty good. Okay. I will live with that. Okay, that uh, hopefully that took care of some stuff there. Oh, we need to get rid of this lamp. That thing as well. Uh, now back to the uh, this again. Uh, Damien Martin is back. Welcome back there, Damien is Martin. Uh, <laughs> uh, thank you for the follow. Thank you very much for that. Okay, did we get rid of anything else here? John Deere Yellow is still here. Okay, John Deere Yellow is still there. But I don't see John Deere Silver. Well, also, I think we got rid of the floor yellow. Uh, P-O-D-T-O-F, thank you for the follow. Thank you very much for that. Welcome to the stream as well, and thanks for the uh, help so far, by the way. Definitely much appreciated. I'm definitely uh, not the best of Blender users. I definitely need to, uh, or would like to work on that some more yet, but uh, getting there, getting there. Yeah, I think this is all gone, so we're going to move that to trash. Got to figure out where the John Deere yellow is getting used. Also, is rubber being used? Not see rubber being used. Seat. Seat being used. Yeah, yeah, we're really cleaning this out here again. Everyone, nice. I like that. I like that. Okay, good. Right window. Don't see that. 
Shifter? Shifter's there yet. Silver. Silver's there yet. Little symbol that appears to be gone. Window diffuser. It appears to be gone as well. Okay, that must have been fixed with uh, something we fixed earlier then. Okay. What the heck is this? Riffium. By the way, what uh, I've done, uh, what at least what I find I think works pretty good, I create a folder inside of the texture folder here. I call it trash. And then I just move everything as I think I'm done with it into that trash folder. Occasionally, I delete something I shouldn't. Um, that's why I can just move it back and like, oh, yep, I still need that yet. I shouldn't need it yet, but I do. So then we just go back and, okay, clean that up. Okay, we still, we still have John Deere Yellow. Shh. Yeah, we got to find out where John Deere Yellow is being used because, again, I mean, anything that's a solid color, we can replace in Giant's Editor with a solid color and get rid of the texture and our, save ourselves a whopping 64.1 kilobytes. Not much, but here's where silver is being used. Oh, well. Uh, Jeffrey, the new scoring system is going to be absolutely stupid. Oh. Uh, oh, why do, why do we say that there, uh, Jeffrey? Okay, uh, back to here. Back to here. Let's uh, John your yellow file ID 41. That's being used for oh, material ID 31. There's 300 people on the uh, U.S. server. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Uh, it's not being used. Okay, that's not good. That undoubtedly probably means everyone that uh, there's probably multiple numbers in there. And I'm guessing probably if you know what you how to do it, there's probably a way to throw some uh, extra characters in here. Yeah. Hmm. Somewhere material ID 31 is being used, but unfortunately we're not going to get as lucky as we did with the steering wheel. It is not the first number. Uh, it is not the first number. Okay. Try searching for 31. That might... That might prove rather long. Ah, Jeffrey's back. Uh-oh. Jeffrey's back? ID 431. Right. Back here a little bit, make sure I didn't miss nothing. Okay. Lots of four thirty ones, okay. Eight by D thirty one. Uh, Jeffrey, Jeffrey has to go for a second to handle some business. Oh. Uh, ooh, that's a, that's a good point there. Ah, uh, yes, throw a comma for it. Yes, good point. That's a good idea. I like that. Oh, wrong button. That's true, because it probably will have a comma in front of it, won't it? Hopefully. Aha, bingo. Bingo. I don't, I don't know what this is, but uh, there we go. Okay. Shape ID. Huh. That's being used on there for. These are on the flashers, eh? Jeffrey, whoa, whoa, whoa. This is not my... Whoa, wait, huh? What? Ad? Uh, then let's call this Jeffrey's live stream. Uh, uh, Jeffrey? Oh, Jeffrey's live stream? Ah, we're going to get Jeffrey into the modding? Sweet. I'll let Jeffrey take over. I'm, I'm, I'm going to watch. Okay, flashers. Is this where these are getting used? Flashers. They're flashers. Okay, where is this? Transform group flashers. By the door, eh? By the door. I think this is the flashers it's talking about. 
don't think. I don't know, maybe it is. Where else is there flashers? There's a uh, flasher somewhere else around here, isn't there? Let's see once here. Oh, uh, is that another parts? Ah, flashers. Thought I've seen flashers somewhere else around here. And we have left, right, okay. Uh, Jeffrey's bad enough. Oh, coming out. Space characters, those are easy to find. So, zero, 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 002, that's the one that's using it. Flasher. I need 26. Ah, okay, everyone. Okay, okay. I think I. No, well, I don't really see why. Why is that using two. Why would that have two textures on it? Why? That makes sense. Well, or actually, does it? I probably actually, to be honest, doesn't need that orange back there, I bet. Uh, Jeffrey, plus I ruin mods when I put them in GE. Oh, come on, ruin mods. There's, there's, how, how can you ruin mods in here? There's nothing to ruin. Ruin? Interesting. I should probably really disassemble one of these flashers because something don't quite look right here. That's clearly black on that texture, and this is not a black texture. Actually, does this have more than one texture? Oh, it does. Oh, ew. Okay. Huh. Would that have that texture on it? We can just start deleting stuff, see what happens. That's uh, Randy's usual fix for this nonsense. Um... Yeah, let's see what happens. So for this one here, we got ID3 and ID3. Oh, that's going to be great. Love that. So ID3, that's the first one. Right. Hmm. 8, 8 across the board. Uh, zero, 01 makes sense. It might need 8. I don't think this one does. Let's try... Uh, Try removing that. All of those. See what happens. What's the worst that could happen? Reload. Yes. Okay, nothing disappeared. Don't look like anything bad happened yet. Not that I'm seeing anyway. Or did it? Uh, it did. Might have to go pull some flashers from another one. Oh, come on now, why is it? Those are not the f right flashers. It's like there's multiple bits of these flashers here. Or was this again? Cab? No. Parts. Flashers. Come on, move out. There we go. Uh, okay, there's no texture at all on this. Hey. Well, wait, wait a minute. There is two. Oh, the normals are flipped. Okay. Uh, yeah, okay. This is what I was talking about earlier. Everyone. The, notice the normals, are, I think, are flipped on here. If we uh, go look at this here, it's kind of hard to see, I think, but... Throw a uh, maybe if we throw a shader on it, maybe we'll be good. Let's find out. Sometimes stuff won't show up if it doesn't have a shader. Vehicle shader. Yeah, I think it's showing us the uh, side of it. Weird. Very, very weird. 
Uh, Transformers are there a difference in planting a field and grass or just mowing wild? Uh, planting grass, sh you should have a lot better yield. Uh, because you can fertilize it and lime and spray it and all that good stuff. So it should have a lot better yield behind it. Randy, this is plum hilarious. It is? I have never in my life seen something as dumb as this. Oh, uh, okay. Wait, now I want to fix this here. I want to, uh, I know John Deere 6030 that has these. Let's look what the 6030 has. Pretty sure the 6030 has these exact same flashers on it. I feel like I remember fixing them on here too. What do we got on here? Flasher set up. They're probably set up the same way on here, aren't they? Uh, there's those parts. Put a lift kit on the jet. Put a what? A lift kit? The tractor. What do you put a lift kit on it for? Yeah, where's the actual? Bed putting. Actual other part of these flashers. Oh, it says it's all there. Okay. Ah, lights. Oh, okay. Light housing outside. Ah, that's what I need. That is what I need. How is this set up on here? Oh, it's set up the same way. Okay. Nah, I never fixed it on here either. Yeah, oh, well. Well, not that it's particularly broken, everyone, per se, everyone, but. Okay, let's see what's here. Housing. Because what uh, someone's done here, everyone, is they've taken the original light, they've pretty much gutted it, and put a giant's light in it. That's fine. That seems like a good way to uh, do it, I guess. But it's got some problems with it, shall we say. Let's uh, export it. Let's see if we can fix it here. Looks like it just needs to have its normals flipped to me. So it potentially, uh, that would actually kind of probably make sense. It probably has orange on the inside. That's why it has orange on it. But why would the orange, if I remove the orange, remove the outside, not the inside? Weird. Oh, maybe that's the way they had him. I don't know. Whatever. Okay, blender. Oh, there it is. I'm going to say, where is it? So this Republican literally just basically came out and said, all right, this is the stupidest thing I've ever seen in my life. Why are we doing this? Ah. Oh, time someone said that. I know. I've been waiting for it. Oh, we're going to see if we can... Uh... Delete. Let's do a limited dissolve on this, see if this gets a little better. No, nah, it's not really going to get much better, is it? Okay. We'll just leave it that way, because uh, if I import that back in the game, I was just going to triangulate it, so no sense doing anything with that, I don't think. And this looks like, I was thinking the normals are flipped, but no, I think it's just as texture on outside, I think. I can't zoom into it right to see, but just uh, import it as it is, or export it, then import it. I wonder if something I could try. I wonder if I apply the same texture to both inside and outside. That might work. That might just work. But if I do 16 and 16? Same texture on the uh, same one. Think that'll work? Saves me the effort of having to re-import this thing. Yeah, that looks like that might have done the trick. Of course, it's not going to let me click on that part, is it? That seems much easier to fix that way. There's always the option of clicking harder. 
Uh, clicking harder. Ooh, I did not think of trying that. I could try that. Yeah, yeah, so went, okay, that's an idea. I had not thought of trying that, but okay, yep, that, that. I like that. That'll work for me. Okay, uh, name these two just so they're not blank. Housing. Housing. And housing. Yeah. Uh, Ethan, whoop, not cool. Uh, what, what, not cool. Uh, Trimmer, there's a reason the whistle and diesel destroys Chevys and GMCs. They are trash. <laughs> oh, I wasn't supposed to laugh at that? Uh, let's, let's see what's here. Uh, okay. We got that part fixed there, everyone. Uh, what do we got next? We got zero one, which has that only has one of them on it. It has the flasher on it. Ah, I could be wrong here, but I don't think that is actually needed. I don't think. You know what the actual flasher here has? Nope. 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 Okay. Decal. No. Inner plastic part. That might be what I'm looking for. Uh no. Oh uh, well. Rear light. Circle orange. Nah, that's definitely not orange there. No, I could be wrong, but I don't think I think it's gonna be needed. Let's just uh check let's just uncheck the visibility for now. Like I said, when they ha this has Giants lights on it, so if I'm not mistaken, we shouldn't need... Well, I'm presuming it was probably part of the old lights there yet. Okay, zero 02. That leaves us for zero 02. This one has two of them on it again. I wonder if we can do the same trick and replace... Replace both of those, potentially. I don't get why there'd be orange on this one. That doesn't make sense. Unless it's on the end or something, maybe. I don't know. Just delete it off there. Seems to be okay with an author. Okay. And if I do ID 26, get rid of that as well. That's, of course, going to change white. That makes sense. And then we go look up the John Deere yellow color here, which I'm going to have to go look that up, I guess. He wants your data folder shared. Brand colors. Uh, Jeffrey, uh, I cannot believe what I'm seeing. In the chat here such uh, foul language. Uh, foul language? What? Where, where, where foul language? Oh, you mean Chevy suck? Uh, the orange used to highlight what the object when the flasher's on. Uh, I think the correct word there is, yeah, used to. I don't think it does with the new one. Uh, Keegan, rain, f rain hold. Rain hold. Uh, thank you for the follow. Thank you very much for that. Welcome to the stream. Uh, we need a yellow. You can't find yellow. What do you mean you can't find yellow? I can find yellow in here. Come on now, you stupid search. Uh, where's John Deere yellow? John Deere. John Deere yellow. Oh, it's yellow one. That's probably why I couldn't find it. Okay. We need one, seven, two, three, one, zero. Yeah. Why does this not fish down? There we go. That'll <laughs> work. Okay. One. Now we need point seven two. Is it seven three one, I think? And then zero. And bingo. We should be back to yellow. Nice. Throw a shader on it. Vehicle shader. Throw some dirt on it. And eh, generic dirt where it should work. Maybe not. Eh, we'll leave it that way. Sure, why not? It's going to turn completely 
uh, completely dirty and probably completely lose its paint. That'll be fine. Uh, Ethan Duramax, the superior. Uh, no one ever. <coughs> okay, that should have fixed it for all of these, right? No, are these all like separate materials or something? What? Oh, no, no, they're not. Okay. Yeah, no, we're good. Yeah, I think that does it for that there, everyone. That does it for that. Like I said, I'm going to leave those orange ones there just in case. I'm almost 99.9% .9 sure we don't need them. Uh, just because, again, uh, I think that was was used before for the lights. Okay, let's save that. Let's reload this. Uh, Trimmer Cars. Car.com rated the Ram 1500 the best luxury vehicle of all time. Uh, the manual Dodges can get uh, 200,000 plus miles on one transmission. Uh, I, I would kind of hope you can get uh, 200,000 miles on a transmission. I mean, that seems reasonable to me. Well, all automatic Dodge and Dodge is due to get full in 85,000 miles. Oh, okay. I mean, uh, I, the original transmission on my truck, I mean, mine, yeah, it's a Ranger, but... That's, that's 230,000 miles on an original. I mean, my 89 Ford with 150, 159,000 has its original transmission. Not too bad. Not quite up to my uh, 230,000 of mine yet, but you got really low miles on that for uh, being that old. Okay. Well, it's going up. I mean, I drive it every day, so. Oh, okay. Yeah, I've got to change oil at 60, so I'm getting close to an oil change, ain't I? Right. Oh, uh, let's see what's their flashers. I can't believe that people take their vehicles and pay like 60 to 100 bucks for an oil change, and I can do it for 30 in my driveway. Oh, well, you know, you know. Uh, Jeffrey, you wouldn't choose Chevy or Dodge. Uh, plus, Ram wouldn't consider themselves Dodge anymore because uh, of their... Track record with their. Too bad they have. Uh, oh, okay. <laughs> uh, triangle silver. Where do I use a silver? I'm curious where this. I uh, wonder if it's the hood piece there. That's probably what uses that. John Deere. I think that gets used. Except at this point, I'm going to pretty much just clean up the textures folder inside trim. The inside trim. Manifold. That's there. New pre-cleaner. That is there. Well, Randy, my, I guess my Volvo now has more miles on it than your Kenworth does. I wonder where that new pre-cleaner gets used. That doesn't seem quite right. Oh, it does? Yeah, it just turned to over to 6,200 and going up. Uh, Jeffrey, trust me, I own a Chrysler. Ooh, I'll have a moment of silence, sir, for you, Jeffrey. Uh, let's see, pre-cleaner. Is there more than one material on here? In progress, new pre-cleaner. What am I be using that texture for? It's a solid black texture. You don't need that. Where that rubbish? Here, I'll show you how you set this to black. Boom. There we go. Okay. Takes care of that texture. I don't know what that was on there for in the first place. Seems kind of weird. We have... Yep. Shaders are all set on it. Okay. I don't know why this is so shiny. That's kind of weird, but... Whatever. Okay. Save that. We'll get rid of that new pre-cleaner. I mean, that's, that's a one meg file there, everyone. That's one meg we just uh, shaved off it there. Let's just reload. I just, I just save it. Save. Oh, no, no, no. Save. Reload. Yes. Uh, by the way, this is when you want to, when you reload it like the seven, this is when you want to check. Uh, Will724G, thank you for the follow. Thank you very much for that. Uh, when you delete stuff out the, like that, you want to go and check the log down here. Make sure you didn't delete something that is still needed. Looks like we're okay. I'm not seeing anything here. 
I mean, it says load. Uh, warning load with invalid case. Yeah, we don't have to worry about those. That's the Giants thing there. Nothing to do with us, so. That should be good. There we go. Yes, reload. Okay. Radiator AO. That being used. Radiator manifold. No, I don't see radiator being used. Shifter is still there. Silver is there. Triangle. Manifold. Manifold. Yeah, manifold is there, right? I think I've seen that one. Yep. Drill. Generic dirt wear. Both the all the generic dirt wares being used here. Dirt wear. Yeah, I guess they are. Okay. Engine bolts. Engine AO2. Door. I do not see door being used. Copper lines. Check cooling. That clear parts. AO. Still being used. Cab top. Cab. Those are the lights. I know those are being used. Alternator pulley. Yep. And hoods. Okay. I think we have a successfully cleared out the uh, textures folder. Now I do have, I don't think that one's being used. I think, is it this one here maybe? I think I deleted out the wrong one. We'll double check here a minute. Uh, my descript is using brand texture. No, it shouldn't need that in there. Brand name John Deere. Where is the texture here? Store pack DDS. Oh, it's using both. Textures. Trash. Well, this one is being used. So I make sure I don't delete that out, everyone, because that is actually uh, that is actually being used yet. Yeah, 7520. Close that. We can close that. Oh, let's see. What uh, what is it using here? Where is texture? Seventy five twenty store DDS. Seventy five twenty store DDS. There, there's the one. Okay. Okay. I think we need to maybe pop this in the game, everyone. Give it a quick test, and it's probably a time to wrap it up for the night. Uh, that's what I'm a thinking. I know they say thinking's bad for the head, but uh, that's what I'm a thinking. Yep, save it. We don't need this anymore. You're thinking. I know. That's scary. Yeah, well, yeah, I'm telling you, it is. <laughs> yeah, real scary. Okay, let's open it up one more time here. Uh, we don't need that. That or that. Make sure all the links are. Ah, yeah, see, this is what I was worried about. Need to make sure this is right yet. Figured I was going to do this. Save that. Uh, your grandpa owns a Ford F-250 Heavy Duty, about eight. Is that 800,000 miles on it? Bucket worth salvage price, but still drives it. That's, that's pretty good. Eight, if that eight hundred thousand, wow, that is pretty good. That pretty pretty good. Okay, uh, any error messages? Oh man, that looks good, everyone. That looks good. No error messages. I like that. Okay, save it. Looking good to me. Let's uh zip that up. Are we done? I think if, if everything works, everyone, we might be done with it. Possible? Oh. That was my console's live. Ugh. Yes? Oh, boy. Funny, I just got the notification now. Okay. No, I need to be in the other place. Yeah, place that one. And let's uh rename this one. Load that one, and load up the game. You think it's a 1986? Wow, nice. <laughs> your farmer, your dad has an F-250 with grass growing in it. Mini 
three liter Fords have one million plus miles. Pretty good if you can make it a million miles on a vehicle. I, I would say that's nice farming simulator not open. Did I uh Okay, try it again here. Pretty good for a vehicle, I would say you're making it a million miles. That used to be my dad's truck, but it wrecked. Oh. Loaded. Okay. Yep. We got a little image there. That's good. Uh, Jeffrey, the power uh, choke was so good. Why did they discontinue it? Good question. Ooh, nice looking John. Your six is reminder one. Sixty thirty is uh, public now. You can find that on the R.D. Allen uh, Facebook page, linked down below, by the way. Well, yeah, I think it's linked. You, you got to copy the link, something like that. Uh, you can also find it on my uh, YouTube channel there as well. Let's see, medium tractors. Any error messages? We should probably check the physics. We probably need to do that, too. Uh, warning, left brake light is not a real light source. Ooh. Okay. I didn't do something right with the lights. Man, they were thumping right. Okay, oh well. Everything else looks like it's good. Let's see, fenders, yes, no. Set up 70, 20, 75, 20. Wheels and duels. Go. Yeah, 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 set up the lights. Okay, I got it. I'll fix it. Sometime. Oh, yeah, good. We're good on the steering wheel. I was wondering about that, everyone. I figured we would be because that transform is what rotates. So uh, even if we're not completely right spot with a piece that's inside of it, it shouldn't matter. Oh, this is still really shiny here yet, isn't it? Uh, steering wheel shaft, I think it looks good. I think it looks good. Yes, sir. -y. I think we got that pretty much right on the money. It looks good to me. Nothing on the dash in this tractor here. I, I don't think there's, yeah, there's never any texture for that, unfortunately, but oh well. For me, that doesn't bother me too much. I, I don't play too much in the cab anymore, so uh, we should probably really see if we can get that guy out of the seat. <laughs> uh, oh well. A little uncomfortable sitting like that, mind you. It's interesting that the hood is really shiny. Rather interesting. I'm not sure what's up with that. Rest of it likes it. I think the rest of it looks like it's pretty good. I'm liking it. I'm liking it. Any other air messages showing up? Yeah. Check the lights. Lights check. Oh, we should. Yeah, that's right. Good point there. Uh, yes, the flashers. Do the flashers? Oh, I think the flashers are good. I think we're good on the flashers. Yes, yeah, so I think we can definitely uh, delete out that other piece that was in there. And I'm pretty sure that other piece was left over probably from the old lights. Because, yeah, that orange part in there, it was completely hidden. Now, the only thing that's not showing up is the brake lights, which apparently, uh, yeah, I didn't like that, did it? Something with the brake lights it doesn't like. Actually, I wonder. Not saying it can't load the brake lights. No, oh, I don't see them at all. Okay, so it's not. It's not putting them in there at all. I don't think. Okay. Oh well. Also, I think it's looking pretty good. 
The rest of the lights are working, loading. Wait. Okay. Trying to thank everyone if there's anything else we need to do to the tractor besides fix the brake lights. Maybe look into why this hood is so shiny. I'm not sure on that. <laughs> not sure on that. It'd be nice if we could maybe see if we get that hood not quite as shiny. Not, not that I have a problem with the shiny. It just it doesn't quite match the rest of the tractor, if you know what I mean, right, everyone? So that, that's the only thing I'm not... Eh. But I think it's looking pretty good. Yes. I like it. I like it. Uh, POD TOF looks good. Well, thank you very much. Yes, yes, uh, I think, um, yeah, well, I'm not sure what to do about that shiny part. I wonder if I need to pull that in Blender, set the UVs, and pull it back out, maybe. What we had to do with some of the rest of it here that uh, was like that. I wonder if that needs to be done there, too. The only thing I could think of, anyway. Oh, you know, let's, uh, let's see if it connects up to stuff right here. Maybe we should uh, check some of that. That might make things interesting. I've seen uh, this uh, three-point used before, and at least in some of the other tracks, when you go hook up something, and just everything comes disjointed. Let's see if the mod author has this one set right. Huh? Connects right. Oh, uh, not 100%, though. Yeah, notice how these pieces here turn. Disconnect. Are they in the right spot? No. Oh, they're still not in the right spot, are they? Oh, okay. Oh, wait. I think it, it turned. They turned the other way now. Uh, okay. Interesting. I turned it too much. Okay. At least it doesn't become all disjointed, though. That's not too bad. Uh, Jeffrey, were you going to add tracks to that? Oh, would you like tracks there, Jeffrey? I can definitely do that. Well, we can put some tracks on there if you like. You know, I, I, can, uh, I can copy this code over right here and uh, plunk it right on there. That, that would look good, wouldn't it? Yeah, but that thing didn't come stock with tracks, though. It only had wheels from the factory. But well, yeah, that didn't stop me from putting 6030 with tracks. I mean, mind you, everyone, they're not quite 100% the right tracks, but uh, they're in-game tracks. Uh, they work. Good point. No, Je no, come on now, Jeffrey. We're, we're, Jeffrey wants tracks on a 7520. Why would Jeffrey not want tracks on a 7520? Poop. Oh, yeah, I know. It's poop without tracks, isn't it? We should put tracks on it. Totally should. And, and, and the best part about it there, Jeffrey, it's real easy to do. Just to, like... You got to copy a couple lines of code here and you just paste that uh, puppy in there. And oh boy, oh boy. Very simple. Very, very simple. Uh, at least if you're using in game tracks. That's, that's the beauty of using the in game stuff. And you can pretty much stick anything you want in it relatively quickly and easily. Oh, let's see. Is there anything else? Uh, this, thing has, this thing has a PTO. Okay. Let's uh, see what it looks like on a grain cart. Uh, let's see what's there. Jeffrey? Jeffrey did not want tracks on the 60... Oh, come on. <laughs> Why would Jeffrey not want tracks on the 6030? Uh, doesn't the 6030 just look good with tracks on it? Oh, man, come on. Now. That that just looks... Uh, that looks good. Uh-huh. Again, it's, it's not quite 100% the right style of tracks, per se, but... PTO actually connects. Looks like it connects in the right spot. That's good. Cool. The question is, what happens when you connect to, like, the mixer here? What does it do then? It is high hitch. <laughs> okay, yeah, that doesn't quite connect, right? But this thing doesn't have a high hitch, so what do you expect? Uh, the expect. Okay, well, anyway, I'm looking at the timer. It looks like it is uh, high time to wrap it up here for the stream. Uh, Jeffrey, Jeffrey said the tractor was ready to release a long time ago. Someone wanted to add something to it. I know, right? 
Oh, yes, yeah, so we added something, all right. Definitely added something. Oh, yeah. Anyway, like I was saying, I think it's time to wrap it up here again. If you'd like to uh, join us on TeamSpeak, you're welcome to do so. Information down below, or you can type an exclamation point TS in chat there. Again, anyone's welcome to join as long as you can uh, play nicely, follow the rules. Again, a microphone is not required. And we're currently still on Clover Creek on the uh, server three there, the server I typically play on. We'll probably be back on there again tomorrow night. So, till then, uh, till then, everyone, have a great rest of your night. And uh, thanks for watching. And till next time.